I can see how the Forever War could make a spectacular novel. Apparently, it's won a Hugo Award, so why bring it out of its perfect medium into the comic world? It ends up as a pretty good issue, except that it's overwritten and the art seems lackluster. So, the Forever War number one is about to get dead. Titan Comics released this series with writer Joe Haldeman and artist Marvana. The story itself is just fine. The pages and panels are laid out haphazardly. Clutter and confusion abound on these pages. Perhaps the comic was trying to be innovative, but it comes out as a mess. Dick. My only guess for this less than detailed artwork is that it's supposed to feel like a memory because the entire book is a recap and I don't know why the writer would choose to do that. It could be a much more powerful piece with a chance at a future if we took the time to get to know the world, the characters, and the mission before it all goes awry. Having to sift through this much information in one issue leaves little breathing room. But to his credit, Haldeman does well to keep the story straight, but there's not much else he can do with it. This book is about Earthlings trying to find an aggressive alien race that has been destroying our exploration ships in deep space. The best minds that are physically capable have set off on this mission and a handful didn't make it through training. Imagine the kind of interactions these intellectuals would have. Those would be stimulating conversations, but we don't get any of that in favor of speeding through the story buildup to dump us off on the far side of a wormhole. I'm giving The Forever War number one a six on the Richter scale because it's a great concept with clear conflict and stunning imagination that has been blasted with determination to speed through the story arc, damaging its potential in the process. Not to mention the strange choice to keep the retired space shuttle as our main source of reaching deep space. They're retired for a reason. Damn. Like and share this video, hit that subscribe button, let us know what you thought of the Forever War novel in the comments below. Check us out on nerdrift.com for more comic book reviews and come back next week for more. Dirt.